Les Carr has just organized a conference for the Web Science Doctoral Training Course. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the doctoral training course, please, Les? Well, uh, it's, uh, it's a new kind of venture that's been set up by the research councils in the UK. Um, and it's all based around the idea of trying to do something new about doctoral training and of trying to make it much more uh, relevant to the kinds of problems that we have today and to the, the British economy, really. Um, so we're, we're trying to uh, develop something that's very multidisciplinary, uh, and that's very much engaged with industry. And those are, uh, those are the new things that are going on there. So what sort of things would we actually see in terms of physical activities? Well, uh, we kind of characterise it that uh, a traditional PhD um, is when uh, someone gets uh, a big sum of money and told uh, that for the next three years they're going to sit in a particular chair, uh, they're going to have occasional meetings with their supervisor, and then in three years they have to produce um, you know, a 150-page document on something new. Uh, and the, the clock starts now, please get on with it. Whereas uh, the new things that we're trying to do are to, to train people uh, as a cohort, to bring them together in groups from a multidisciplinary background, so that they support each other, so they have a wider uh, understanding of the issues in, in particular areas, uh, and so that they can provide, uh, as teams, uh, a new kind of way of looking at uh, the, the research questions that, that they're brought together with. So that will mean that they have events like this, where they're brought face-to-face -face, uh, with people from industry. It means that they have uh, events together, learning about things. Uh, it means... Um, that, that, that many of the activities happen uh, within teams and with, with engagement, uh, trying to develop leadership skills, uh, trying to contribute uh, to, to a bigger picture uh, of, of problems that are of relevance to uh, British industry. So what would you say is the significance of this in terms of what is done in PhDs, the quality of PhDs? Well, what we're seeing is that um, we're getting um, high-quality candidates uh, who are, by, by engagement with each other, are able to give interesting answers and significant answers to questions, uh, once again, that, that British industry um, is, ans is, is asking. And so the significance for us is that rather than developing them in a particular direction that appeals to their supervisors in, the, in academia, that, that, uh, that comes with, uh, you know, people talk about closeted and, uh, and ivory tower uh, to, you know, in, in negative ways about ac uh, academic endeavor. Um, we're, we are training people to think deep thoughts about really important issues in a, in a very uh, applied and directed way uh, that makes them more useful rather than uh, just highly clever and less useful. So what sort of impact do you think society will note of, the, of this program? Well, I think that the, 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 we're, we're set up to, to discuss web science and so the issue of how the web impacts society. So there is people are noting that all sorts of things are changing in society because of the web. Our retail is changing, our industry is changing, our personal uh, entertainment is changing, news is changing, uh, governance of society is changing, and what, so what we expect people to notice is that we are going to we are stepping in and we are offering guidance and solutions and leadership in areas where people are uh, just seeing things change and don't know what direction to move in. Les, thank you very much. Thank you.